Hi everyone. So uh, today what I'm going to discuss is uh, VAT implementations to GCC countries. Of course, uh, they are already signed the uh, agreements to implement the VAT system to their GCC countries. And uh, some of the GCC countries already implemented it. Of course, like uh, countries like Abu Dhabi, UAE, and uh, Saudi Arabia. So uh, these countries are already implemented and uh, it was like 5%. So it's little just started uh, so make sure it will be uh, become more high and uh, when it's discussing about the tobacco it becomes 100 percent that is a little bit quite higher of course so before that let me discuss what's the history of this uh, vat the vat of course a french idea it's not, it comes in 1950 so after that the uk uh, of course registered with their uh, trade unions and then uh, it's like become f more famous uh, for all the other countries of course the governments are really interested about this all the countries because uh, it's an easy way to um, gain some wealth for the country without hurting and uh, it's cheeky of course with uh, uh, when you calculate or when you are um, earning it uh, the wealth for the government point of view so uh, let me discuss how it uh, gonna calculate so if you know uh, when you are operating a business, you have uh, customers and of course uh, you vendors. So customers means you are selling to somebody and uh, suppliers mean you are purchasing. So when you uh, purchase something, you need to pay for the suppliers. So how the VAT come into uh, this situation is when you are purchasing you have to pay for your suppliers and uh, when you're paying it you have to pay the amount for the or the value of these goods so that means for this value it will in, it will included the VAT amount let's say for an example uh, you are going to purchase something which is worth of thousand dollars so if you are and when your VAT is let's say 5% then you have to apply 5% on this thousand so uh, it becomes like uh, $50 so your bill or so your invoice from your suppliers not thousand now it become thousand fifty dollars so that is the difference you know so uh, now leave the supplier for a while and let's take a customer into this uh, story so you are going to sell these goods for your customer then you have a invoice for this customer for this value so let's say your invoice value is 2000 now uh, what you're going to do is if you are registered for VAT you have to apply VAT on your invoice so your invoice amount is 2000 VAT is five percent so which means that value is 100 so what's your invoice value of course it's 2100 now we are going to calculate that on these transactions so you know you purchase something and the VAT amount is 50 and when you're selling you got that charge on 100 dollars so we call when you're purchasing something you apply VAT so it become input VAT and when you're selling something it we call it as output VAT so output VAT is hundred dollars and input VAT is fifty dollars as per this our story our example so your charge VAT amount is 50 so how you calculate it you got 10 and subtract your input VAT 50 which is already paid and you got 50 balance you need to pay for your government so that's how it works so um, if you want more discuss on this uh, click uh, the subscribe button and as well as just leave a comment below so I will discuss more on this very good examples and easy examples and uh, what's really going on with uh, GCC countries okay so just leave a comment you want more videos on this and let me do some other clips as well thank you